What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest ROS on this device. It is by a really close friend of mine who is Srikanth. He is a really great guy. Have helped me a lot with like past custom ROMs flashing and stuff. I'm just pumped for this ROM because he made this ROM and he has been working on it for a long time. So you can definitely try this ROM on your Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is a really great ROM in my opinion. So what features does it come with? Let me show you in today's video. This is the latest build of AeroOS which is the 28th January 2020 build and the stock kernel over here is the Stormbreaker Arrow kernel and you can see the build number and stuff and the security patch is of latest January 1st 2020 and the AeroOS version is 10.0 official of course and you can like check for the Android version from here of course and the device is wired. We have the AeroOS logo up top and let me go back from here. By the way, you can download and flash this ROM in two variants. You can like choose the GApps or non GApps version. The non GApps version does not include GApps and of course the uh, GApps version includes the GApps. So that's simple. And I'll put the link for that in the description box below. I have just used the latest Orange Fox stable recovery. And with that, I have flashed this ROM and it went pretty fine. Well, let me go into the system. And here, one good thing is that we have the like stock updater over here. This is a OT updater and it works flawlessly. I have tried it. Yes, it does work. Let me go back. And here we have the language and input and stuff, of course, and the gestures option is simply not here because I'll show those later on. Here, as you can see, in the settings panel itself, the gestures option is listed in the bottom and we also have a buttons. In the gestures, we have the jump to camera, as you can see. Then we have the system navigation gestures of Android 10. And we also have this full screen gesture. This will hide the pill. As you can see, it is separated from the settings. It's not in here, but you can find it whenever you scroll down. And you can like enable it and use the full real estate of the screen. Like whenever you have the keyboard and stuff, it won't show a black bar on the bottom. Let me disable it. And we have the two button and three button navigation over here. The Android 10 gestures are working fine here too, as you can see. And the double tap to sleep status bar of option is there as you can see the double tap worked fine and unlocking speed of this ROM is pretty great if you're noticing it let me do it again unlocking speed is just flawless over here double tap to sleep on the lock screen itself is working fine now let me go to the button section and here we have the power menu option we have the power restart screenshot etc options we have the flashlight option too and enable advanced restart option is there in the power button and here if you tap on restart as you can see we have the restarting option directly to recovery or fast boot so that's great we have the invert layout option and then volume wake and reorient volume panel is there let me go to the display settings and here you will see some more interesting features which I haven't noticed in most ROMs. So first we have the nightlight, the common ones and then we have the styles and wallpapers and in here you can customize the theme and accent colors if you'd like and of course we have the clock options of the lock screen as you can see and we have the auto red screen then lock screen displays there if you want to enable some like new notification options. Double tap to wake is there and it does work let me show you. I have unlocked the phone right now double tapping and as you can see double tap to wake did work wake up on plug you can disable it from here and we have the dark theme and talking about this dark theme you can change the colors of the background of this dark theme let me show it to you as you can see the background color kind of changes this is not the accent color this is actually the background color changing let me switch to the pitch black and as you can see the background color turned totally black and we have the dark gray if you're noticing it it becomes a little bit dark gray and right now this is the default one so these are like really cool features i have been using this solarized dark because i cannot find it in most roms so i'm using it and we have the status bar option we have the headset bluetooth etc icons over here and the vaulty icon and stuff is there but i don't have a sim card in this device yet so yeah the battery life seems to be pretty great over here in this ROM too. No issues with that. Wi-Fi and stuff is working fine. Vaulty should be working fine too if you have the SIM card in it. Let me go back to the weather. We have the weather kind of customization over here. You can set up this thing if you would like. In the sound settings, let me show you. There is no me audio direct right now. And charging sound and charging vibration and stuff you can like enable or disable it. But I am not happy with the like there is no three finger skin shot gesture. So yeah, I would like to see it in future. The three finger skin shot gesture is really helpful for some 
like stuff so yeah i miss that feature over here in this rom and also there is no always unlock with the film scanner by the way the stock camera over here is a uh, old google camera so i have flashed the latest anx camera and this is just working fine right now the anx camera just works flawlessly no issues whatsoever the video mode and stuff everything works and even you can take photos in portrait mode and stuff this is the latest version of anx camera and this works fine too I haven't installed a Google camera though, but you can install it Google camera 7 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro is kind of slow I would say in my opinion and here the stock launcher let me show you this is how the stock launcher settings are there and we have the Google feed indication and stuff and then we have the quick search bar grid app drawer column and row numbers are there and to the left of the home screen we get the Google now cards and if you swipe down anywhere you get the like quick settings panel of course and you can add and edit bunch of toggles from here you can also disable heads up from the quick setting toggle so that's great you can enable or disable dark theme from here as you can see and it takes a bit of time to like switch of course because this is a really old device and as you can see the rom seems to be pretty fine and fast no issues whatsoever with anything like that the battery life again should be pretty good and google pay and stuff i'm not sure about because i don't have a sim card in it so i haven't set those things up but if you have google pay working that's great but if you do not have google pay working on this rom i would suggest to use the magic sky that should fix the problem and the flashlight and stuff is working fine as you can see no problems with those and one more interesting thing is that i have tested it with the led rgb remote app the ir bluster present up top on this device works flawlessly no issues whatsoever the hue of the pink like rgb light you're saying i have turned it on with this device and it's working fine on this rom and the flashing procedure i would say is fairly simple i just needed to be on the latest orange fox recovery and with that i have just flashed the rom file and i have used the included gapps rom file so i didn't have to flash anything else except for the anx camera because i wanted to install it if you don't want it, you don't need to install it. So the installing procedure is fairly, fairly simple. You just flash the ROM and reboot. It's how simple it is. So that is it guys. That was a quick impressions of this ROS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So thank you so much for watching this video on the ROS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this ROM. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.